Ben Stein is an author, a financial expert, an actor. He also has a law degree. He's, he starred in several movies like Ferris Bueller and others. And now he's playing the lead role in a different type of movie. It's called Expelled. The film covers the evolution and intelligent design controversy going on across the country. And Ben, what a delight to have you with Honored us. Honored to be here. And as you were reminding me, my father held the chair at the University of Virginia, yeah. named for your father. The e. Willis Robertson chair. Yes, and it was a great he, honor for him. Well, it was a great honor for us to have such a distinguished economist. You're very, and, you're very kind. Thank you very much. Let me ask you, uh, before we get into this uh, Expel movie, uh, there was a bombshell thrown into the financial yes. markets over the weekend. I can't imagine the the Federal Reserve meeting on a Sunday night to, to cut interest rates. But what about this Bear Stearns thing? Well, it shows that uh, a lot of what's been going on in Wall Street in the last uh, many years has just been plain fraud. I mean, mm -hmm. the, you were talking about mammon and how mammon, America worships mammon. There's no doubt about that. America's mm -hmm. really turned its whole soul over to the worship of money. But uh, these guys were just lying their heads off. Just on Friday or thir a Thursday night, the chief financial officer of Bear Stearns said, we're worth at least $80 a share. The minimum we're worth is $80 a share. Turned out they were willing to sell for $2 a share, and that probably was a charity thing. They were underwater, and these were considered the greatest experts in risk management on Wall Street. Well, they Green, were underwater. Ace Greenberg was the, the model for everybody to copy. But, you know, he <laughs> he didn't really ruin it. It was he the didn't. guys who came after him who ruined it. And, and uh, by the way, you were saying earlier, because I was watching you, of course, right. that you think there's going to be a depression. I don't think there's going to be a depression because right. the Federal Reserve will flood the country with money. There won't be a depression. I, at least I don't think so. I pray there won't be one. But uh, this, this endless worship of money where people lie, cheat, steal, and the main nerve center of the money empire of the United States, Wall Street, will tell any lie to make a buck. It's a very scary situation. Well, it's shocking. Not only that, and the rating agencies went along with it. I mean, to give they, AAA to those... Uh, well, it's, that's complicated, Pat, yeah. because, because <laughs> they were AAA compared to the other bonds in the portfolio. They were not AAA compared to, say, a bond from General Electric. And let's not forget, out in your neighborhood or in your town, there are plenty of very honest financial managers mm -hmm. who are really working very hard to make sure you have a decent retirement. They're not all crooks. But at the powerful top banks, there are an awful lot of crooks. But out there in the financial services industry, there are a lot of decent people. Well, the thing that has worried me is is the collapse of the dollar. We're looking at uh, oh. at, at, the, at the euro hitting a, a, a dollar sixty. Well, there is has been major financial mismanagement in this country for a long time. You know, I'm a Republican. I always vote the straight Republican ticket. But this supply side where deficits don't matter and you can run the U.S. deeper and deeper into debt and it doesn't matter a bit. That doesn't work in the average household. It doesn't work for the federal government. All it's done is flood the world with dollars, depress the value of the dollar, and it's going to get worse. Can we pull it out, do you think? I think we're going to need a very serious tax rise on the wealthy to try to balance the budget, but the wealthy can afford it. I think we're going to have to get our house in order just the way a family has to get its house in order. For a long time, we heard deficits don't matter. They do matter. Of course they matter. It's, yeah. been, it's been absolutely shocking, and yeah. you just wish that our president had exercised the veto pen a little bit sooner. He's well, he inherited, you know, uh, his predecessor left him a moral disgrace at the White House, mm -hmm. but he also left him a budget surplus. He should have kept, kept a budget surplus. Sure. Well, let's switch gears okay. now. To, you're starring in a, in, a, in a motion picture called Expelled, and you traipse all over the world yeah. in search of the answer. Um, is this something in your heart? I mean, you, you weren't just oh, yeah. an actor in this movie. Oh, no, no, no. It's very much in my heart. I've always questioned Darwinism because Darwinism leads to social Darwinism, mm -hmm. the belief that some races are superior to other races and that the superior races have it as their moral duty to eliminate the less lesser races. Mm -hmm. And that means my fellow Jews and, of course, African-Americans, Indians, Aborigines, just kill them. They're, they're worthless. The only people who count are the master race, like the Germans or the mm. Danes. And uh, there could have been no Holocaust without Darwinism. That's my view. So I've always had my suspicions about Darwinism. But Darwinism explains so little. It doesn't explain how life began. Mm -hmm. It doesn't explain how gravity works to keep the planets in their orbits. It doesn't explain how thermodynamics works. It doesn't have, explain how physics or the laws of motion work. And, you know, I saw that scientist you had up on the TV before I came on who said it's been tested and retested. Yeah, yeah. No one has ever observed the evolution of a single mammalian species. Mm -hmm. They've observed evolution within species. But a new species, no one's ever been able to observe that or find fossil record of it.
Well, why do they try to suppress it? And that was the theme of your movie, Expel, that this one man has, was expelled from a teaching Oh, more position. than one. one yeah. Dozens, dozens and dozens have been expelled or lost their grants or been humiliated for even mentioning the possibility that there could be an intelligent designer in the universe who created the universe and created the heavens and the earth. And I think people uh, want to suppress the idea of an intelligent designer, whom I call the intelligent designer mm -hmm. God, because uh, they think if there's a God, I'm going to be held morally accountable. Uh, if there's no God, if it all mm -hmm. happens by accident, random mutation, and natural selection, I'm not responsible. I'm just a creature of my genes. But if there's a God, I'm morally responsible. I'm in deep trouble here. But, but this is pervasive. And what oh, the movie showed, pervasive. pervasive, right across the academic. Oh, very pervasive. If, if you were to stand up, if you were, say, an assistant professor at Harvard, and you stood up and said, you know, we have no evidence for how life began. Uh, a perfectly reasonable hypothesis is that there is an intelligent designer who always was and always will be, and he created life. You would be out of there on your ear so fast it would be insane. Mm -hmm. If you were at, at a Ford, on a Ford Foundation grant and you said, uh, we don't know how the planets stay in their orbits, we don't know how uh, light beams began, we don't know how energy began, we don't know how matter began, a perfectly reasonable hypothesis is there's, there's an intelligent designer, you'd, be, you'd lose your grant like that. Well, why there is, you know, they said, well, we see that uh, scientists created uh, uh, the, some test tubes and they put some amino acids and they, 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 they played electricity on it and therefore we had some primitive cells. But that, that and had they a, didn't get it. They that got had no creep. life at all. Yeah. Now, see, Dar Darwin never hypothesized about how life began. Mm. And uh, he said, maybe, possibly, there are organic elements and lightning struck them. That was the only thing he ever said, and that was in a letter to someone. But people have run electricity through every kind of organic, of inorganic compound you can mention, and they never get life from it. Never, ever, ever. So that doesn't work. Life didn't come from a mud puddle. Life mm. came, it seems fairly clear to me, from an intelligent designer. Sure. But I, I'm willing to agree, I could be wrong. I'm often wrong. I'm very mm. often wrong. But give us free speech. Give us free speech. Yeah. Don't fire us because we question a doctrine that doesn't even mention it. I mean. Darwin didn't mention astrology, astronomy rather. Darwin didn't mention physics. Mm -hmm. Why can't we question whether Darwinism accounts for those things too? You can't be a true scientist unless you do. You the... have to try to disprove your own theory if you're a real scientist. Yeah. Well, I hope this movie takes hold. You did a great job. Is, well, it, we is it available like in, in uh, movies now? It's going to be out on a thousand screens <laughs> April 18th. April 18th. Yes. And the movie is called It's called Expelled, Expelled No Intelligence Allowed. Expelled No Intelligence Allowed. <laughs> that says it all. Man, thank you so thank much. Thank you for so being much. Here. It's an You're honor, honor being here. I love your show.